members of the government and of the party and of the mass movement. And their excellencies, the ambassadors and the high commissioners and all the dignitaries. I am pleased to welcome you all to the cultural corridor, although they are saying Kiruhura, Kiruhura, but Kiruhura is really part of the cultural corridor. which goes all the way to the north and the northeast to celebrate the International Women's Day 2023. I'm very happy that, that, that you recognized, you organized the Women's Day in Kiruhura district for this year. Why? It is because it is here in Kiruhura district that our student group launched the anti-nomadism campaign in December 1966. Partially supported by Mzee Bianyuma, who was the member of parliament for this huge area, known as Ankore Northeast, Mwesugo Black and myself walked from Kurar to Kurar, held public meetings at Rushere, Tomiambi, Nama, and Shwerenche, and walked on foot from Nyakasharara to Biharwe passing through crowds and educating people about the dangers of nomadism and the precapitalist traditional economy of only working for the stomach of Kore and Ayonka. Between 1966 and 1971, on I I told from Mrs. Zungu recovery message. Go come and think I'm Zungu in Zako of Unu Rabanum. Bakanyango Zungu Richiba Kwataku. On of the Ahere. I told from Mrs. Between 1966 and 1971. When Amin launched his coup d'etat, we concentrated on the campaigning nomadism that was based on the old inefficient science of the African societies. That nomadism, like the one we still have in Karamoja and in Turkana and in many parts of Africa, that nomadism was attempt to solve the three problems that faced the traditional pastoralists. These three were the shortage of, of pasture during the dry season, the shortage of water during the dry season, and the cattle diseases caused by vectors such as tetraflies, ticks, snails, and parasites like worms, bacteria, and viruses. However, this practice was out of date because in other parts of the world, e.g. Europe, where they had seasonal incapacity to have grass grow on account of the snow in winter and very cold temperatures in the autumn, they had long learned the techniques of using spring and summer to grow crops and pasture, preserve them as hay, silage, 
or animal feeds and feed them to the livestock in winter and autumn. These people who have got only one season for growing crops and pasture, we are producing more agricultural products than us who had two seasons even without irrigation. And the two seasons are what we call Omwaka or Itumba. This is August to January and Obujegashe, the small harvest from March to June. Katumba to Kamena. With water, the only problem was either with the problem of water, because the, 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 these nomads were, were moving around that there was shortage of water during the dry season. So with water, the only problem was either not Kulembeka, Kulembeka is a Rwanda word, which means Oktangiriza. Kulembeka in uh, Acholi would be Jolopi. Jolopi or Aiga Akipi in Ateso. With water, the only problem was either not Kulembeka, trapping the rainwater, or Kulembeka with small containers if we do not have a shuro underground, underground water spring in, 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 in that area. In Karamoja, the, the experts in, in water are recommending valley dams of 20,000 cubic meters. That's about 20 million liters. They say that this size of dam will see the cattle out of the dry month of Karamoja for a family. They are saying that if you have a valley tank of, of 20 million liters and you are a family, this water is enough to take you through, through the dry month in Karamoja. With respect, hence the issue of water shortage is easily solvable even for the dry season. With respect to running away from the diseases, I asked the Banyankore in 1966, the following question. That time when we were having meetings with these uh, nomads, this is, this is the question I, I, I asked them. Murahuri ire, awa afamu yom rungu, ayamba ra, nubafuruka. Nukuna aburuzawa nyankore wanyu, umwaka alkumiruwe na kaga na mkaga, obuna wa shanga, obutabe ntubarabamu. Meaning, have you ever heard the people of the Mzungu farm at Mbarara migrating around, being nomadic? By the Mzungu farm, they meant the government stock farm at Mbarara. That's what they were calling that government stock farm. They were calling it farm Yom Mzungu. So my question to this man at that time, 1966, was you are running around, you are nomadic because you say there is shortage of grass in the dry season, there is shortage of water in the dry season, and cows are dying from diseases. Fortunately, that government farm by that time had been there for almost half a century. So my question to them was, have you ever heard the people of the government farm my, being nomadic? And, and that's why you, the leaders, you must be very careful. If you want to change people, you must enter their, enter their, their psychology. You must enter their heads. This person, what, how is he thinking? Why does he not see what I see? 
The problem of the leaders is elitism. You go as elite. You don't try to penetrate the mind of the patient, because these are patients. They need to be, to be cured of their lack of information. So my question to them was, you are, you are, my, you are nomadic because you say you are looking for pasture in the dry season, you are looking for water in the dry season, you are also running away from the diseases. Have you seen the government farm at Mbarra? What, what they were calling the farm of the Mzungu? Have you, ever, have you seen the government farm at Mbarra? Say yes, we know it. Have you ever heard them being nomadic? They say no. Uh-huh. So the government farm does not, is not nomadic. However, they were partially right because that modern farming was started by the colonial government. Now, when I said, have you ever had those people migrating? And they said no. Their answer was no. We have never had the Mzungu being engaged in Kfuruka nomadism. Then my next question was, do you have better cattle than him? Do you have, do you have better cattle than the, the government farm? Uh, they just laughed and wondered whether I was mocking them. They, they, they laughed. I, no, to do Are you mocking us? Their question to, their question to us was, you see, that's why really you should go and engage with the people closely. So for them, the, their question to us was, okay, the, the government's farm does not move around because they have got money to buy uh, 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 drugs continuously. Embazio Tarugaho. And for them, they were saying, we, where can we get drugs continuously? We, don't, we, are, we, are not, we are not rich people. We don't have money to buy drugs continuously. So for us, we cannot do that, in other words. That can only be done by those because they have money. Where shall we get the constant supply of drugs that enable, enable, enable the white man to stay in one place without his cattle being attacked by diseases. I then asked one of them, Mzei Bazine, the number of calves he had lost that year, 1966. He said 40. He had lost 40 calves because of East Coast fever. I then challenged them to tell me how much those calves would have brought in if they had not died. We estimated at that time, the, 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 the money of those cows, if they had grown, was 20,000. That was equivalent to US dollars 2,900 of that time. That money was enough to build a new deep tank, shilling is 12,000, and buy a Volkswagen car at shilling is 8,000. 8, Therefore, they had the money to Kugura and Bazio Targaho. They had the money for buying the required veterinary drugs sustainably. But that capacity was being squandered by allowing the calves to die from preventable causes. Like the water miners farm, they did not have to Kufuruka, they did not have to be nomadic. Many people listened to our message and stopped nomadism, faced the land they occupied traditionally, dug bigger wells, started spraying against the ticks, stopped bush burning, and engaged in crop farming, especially bananas. 
in addition, in addition to cattle rearing. The calf mortality, the calves dying, radically reduced and their herds multiplied. Between 1966 and 1986, their herds multiplied and had more food security. But then, one question remained unanswered. This is the issue of the correct enterprise in terms of maximizing homestead incomes, taking into account the size of the family land. On account of lack of education, the Wanainchi would copy blindly. So and so is rich with several hundreds of Ankole cattle, let us say 1,000, I must be like him. In other words, I must be a rancher. However, to have 1,000 cattle, you need three and a half square miles of land if you are still using the free range method, etc. Yes, with 1,000 Ankole cattle, you can sell about 200 per year for beef, and this gives you more than 200 million shillings in today's money. That's not bad. The problem, however, was that many people did not have three and a half square miles of land and could therefore not be ranchers with the free range model, etc. That is how, in 1989, when we had come from the bush, after careful analysis, I recommended dairy farming to them. You will not get out of poverty through ranching, because ranching needs a lot of big land, but you can get out of poverty through dairy, through selling milk. While those with big pieces of land could keep both the Ancore Longhorn and the Frisians, I strongly recommended the Frisians for the small and medium holders. The Ancore Longhorn, the Sanga cow, this, this the Sanga here, that's why the, 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 the Europeans, the vets, came to call the Ancore cow the Sanga cow because of this place here. The word Sanga itself, I don't know where it came from, but it could be from Ox Oxanga. Oxanga, when it is going to rain, you can make a, a, a grass, a grass canopy, and you cover yourself. That's called a Sanga. So I don't know whether it, that is from there. So this Sanga cow, or for, for, for what other names, Enshunje, if they are the big type, or Enkome, the other tougher type, is a superior breed because of the quality of its beef. Yellow fat and the milk has got more cream, what we call omuichi. However, in the past, we had not marketed those qualities. Therefore, the Ankore cow still depends on the internal market of Kampala and a bit of the regional market, Congo, South Sudan, for beef. I, I salute His Excellency Ramaphosa, the President of South Africa, for using the 43 cattle I sold him to promote the Ankore cow globally. And its value is going up. His Excellency Ramaphosa has auctioned one of his bulls for Uganda shillings, one bull, 337 million shillings. <laughs> yes, R Ramaphosa president was South Africa. Are you not
nino kumonje lendi ndi shagama ustaji ya kutemba na I was sure 30 years ago when I encouraged the small and medium scale Banyankore to go for the Frisians that the value of the Ankole Longhorn would go up. We even already had the report of the Americans in Texas where the Ankole cattle they took from here had, had taken the first and the, and the sixth positions are the best beef providers in the whole world. The Americans had taken some Ankole cows when they were helping us here with the tester flies. They took them to America and when they put them in a, in a competition of beef, one took the first position of, of beef in the whole world, of all the cattle of, of the world. And another one took the sixth place. So I, 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 we already had this information, but I didn't want the Banyankore to continue with the poverty. Uh, while we were trying to promote, to inform the world about the Ankore cattle, because it would it would take time. That is why I keep thousands of the Matixozi. However, the small and the medium farmers in the cattle corridor need a quick, uh, needed a quick answer in 1989 and even today the other similar Ugandans need that quick answer. In any case, there was no harm in diversification. Hence, I, I unequivocally recommended for them to go for the 